What up, Pugmo Peeps? Hi, how are you? Oh, I have been in my own personal hell. But before I get to that, first things first, if you're not ready and you want to be and listen to my rambling, yawning, boring ass, sorry, boring face, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and click the subscribe button and smack that little bell so you know when I decide to get off my tuchus and put up a new video. Uh, if you like it, like. Uh, questions, comments down below or on all my social medias. I love talking to you guys. Now let's just get into why I've been in my personal hell the last few days. I get a call from my bank telling me that there has been fraud detected on my account, my behalf, and there's a whole list of different charges. And I'm thinking, okay, it's just because we've been paying on the bills and buying stuff we need for the house and the animals and us, you know. And that's why I thought it was. To be 100% honest, that's why I thought it was. And I didn't have time to look. I had, I had to go somewhere. So I was, you know, frantic. I'm like trying to get whatever I had together, and not having a second chance to look. This person accused me of fraud, of lying, of. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm trying to prove my innocence, and I understand you have a job to do, miss. And it's it's hard to tell the liars and the cheaters from good people. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I I'm never. The only time I've laundered money is when it's been in a pocket, in a shirt, in a jacket, and a pair of pants or shorts. And I don't know what's in there because I don't check it until I either take it out of the washer or take it out of the dryer. Are and it falls sure out. And this person was just something bad? telling me that. Oh, oh, you know, these charges, you said you did them. I'm thinking at that moment again, I'm like, is she? And I didn't get a chance to ask her. I'm like, are you talking about these surges on these days and from these places? No, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to answer that. And it, it just, I can't explain the feeling of helplessness. It's like I'm not. I didn't do anything wrong. Oh, I fell for a scam. I got hacked. And I looked at charges after a while. Coinbase. Checks to people I don't even know. And I'm trying to tell her, lady, I don't even have a checkbook. And if I had a account with this place, I might have signed up to get something for free or whatever. And forgotten about it. So I'm like, you know, I'm a bundle of nerves. I'm a wreck. I'm crying. I'm freaking out. Still. Because backwards, right around the whole time my boyfriend of eight years passed away, we were trying to get everything situated, trying to figure out how we're going to get caught up in bills and all the grown up stuff. So. But no, thank you. This person, let's see, Mr. Putti, a farm for a lamp, a really good guy that helps other people out. You know, oh, I, oh, um, who needs help? And I'm like, oh, I do, you know, I kind of go a little, gloss over a lot of the things that's going on. And this person tells me, well, I can help. Send me a DM. So I send him a DM. And, you know, I tell him what's going on. And he's like, oh, and he gives me a number for, I guess, his money manager. Because he's got, he's, uh, 
that thing you told the me. Right, the philanthropist. Yeah, now you're freaking out. No, no, no. Uh, uh, the reason for philanthropist. Bad. Bad. Uh, help our people. You know, he set up. Uh, he set up a charity for kids with cancer, and that resonates with me. And I'm sh along with a lot of other people. You know, because I've had family members pass away from cancer. I've had family members survive cancer. You know, and they're still here. They're rocking. They're having. A, they're living their best life. So, and he went on to say, "Oh, you know, I'll give you the number of my money manager or whatever." And it was a Google number. Red flag. I'm like, okay, let's go along with this. Don't give them any information. So I call the number and I leave a message. Person calls me back, and it was just. It, from the get go, it was. I know something was not right. There's something fishy. And at first, I was just going to be like, okay, let's just see how this plays out. I'm not. And my stupid enough, you know, first he did, he wanted to do Bitcoin, so I did Bitcoin on a Cash App, which is wonderful. And I'm still trying to figure out how to use it. And. He, the pot, you know, got, I gave him my, mm, I just him, no. Never give your financial information, your private information to anyone. You happy? No, I'm not talking to my boyfriend either. And, anyway, I gave him my bank info, yeah. well, credit union How info, you and, someone, it's never your fault. You know, stupidly enough, I'm like, okay, he's going to help me, you know. I really thought this person, or persons, I don't know, had the best intentions. Was I wrong? I was getting accused of stealing, earning off with the money from this charity that I've looked into it, and I've, there hasn't, there, it doesn't exist. And then he's this guy posing as this gentleman was like, oh, you know, I I work or I'm part of a firm or whatever. He's still agent in Florida, you know, give it here's this and that. I looked and I looked. Nope, not one word from him, nothing. And I'm like. Okay, it's really fishing out. Thank well, what's the what's a charity called? It's, it's kids with leukemia in Florida. What? Something to that effect. Well, and to I'm like, no, it doesn't sound call right. Call it doesn't fit. Call and call he started call asking call me it because I told his who well, I thought it was his boss. Well, he was saying to me, and it was uh, accusing me of something. I'm going, dude, I have so much in my mind, I can barely wake up and figure out where the heck I am. And stupid me. So, mm, I. DM his boss and I told him and I sent him screenshots of what this person said and he's you know it's like well I'm so sorry you know I'll take care of it blah 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 and so this dude messaged me again you know text me and it's like oh Mr. Hendricks you know really let me have it read me the right act this that and the other oh by the way are you seeing anybody I'm like you got set on you, dude. I literally just told you I lost my my boyfriend for eight years just passed away in April. I'm not looking for anything. And plus I live in Michigan. Oh that's okay. I live in I'll be in Michigan on business. How about you let me take you out to dinner for a day? I'm like, no. What part of I just lost my boyfriend of eight years 
don't you get? And it, it just got creepy. Then you went on to the whole old standby. Oh, are you trying to steal money from us? You know, from the charity? I'll call the FBI, blah, blah, blah. Now I'm freaking out. I have no idea. So. And he's like, okay. I'm glossing a lot of it, over a lot of it, but I'm just trying to straighten things out in my mind, too. Um. Robert, yeah, so he's, I then he started to get me, what exactly you know, because I changed the password once, and he's like, oh, are you up to Shay's stuff? Feelings. What's going on? I are you trying to steal money from it? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, uh, no. I just changed it, because I wanted to change it. Oh, don't do that again. Uh, yeah, you might be scamming us. So after that, I changed it again. And then... This guy's trying to get me to give his money back, which, dude, just take it. Or, how about this? I'll just, how about I donate it to, like, St. Jude or something? Oh, no, no, no. It's got to be in gift cards. So you go store, you go get gift cards. I'm like, you son of a gun. That's not the word I said. But I'm trying to keep the swearing down a minimum, if at all. I'm like, no, we're done. We're done here. And fast forward to last month and this month, there's been ACH charges to Coinbase, from Coinbase to Coinbase from my account, which, like, if I ever made a Coinbase, it was probably to get a promotional thing or just I signed up and I forgot and I never used it. So I canceled one, no problem. And I was trying to explain. And this yeah, lady calls, I told well actually no, first the lady calls to let me know no what's going on and accuse me of fraud, money laundering, to, really because there was, but like I said, was ACH charges and transfers to and from coin, a Coinbase account oh, and okay. checks, is, like from what I've seen, like what four I or five checks written. Where did you really go? I was fraudulent checks not to be part with of my same fake signature forged and if you know me you know what? my handwriting is atrocious <laughs> I, so I'm like that's not my handwriting I did not do that I'm trying to tell this lady whose job it is to um watch out the liars the cheaters the scammers of a bank or whatever they blew him up pretty quick. And I, I gave her a little leeway because I understand that's your job. But she accused me of it twice. I guess not everybody. And I'm, not I'm like, Miss, I'm literally just astonished and confused from all this as you are. And the charges I thought she was talking about was updated from me yeah you know, paying the toy mailing toys. uh paying down the off the bills getting stuff for myself and my roommates our animals whatever and that's charges i thought she was talking about so i said yeah that's all me and oh you you clicked into your or checked in your account online and you hundred and sometimes and you didn't know I'm like huh? and something just wasn't adding up Marshall Marshall so I'm like okay you know whatever so I just I got it's just ridiculous so I got I'm getting accused of fraud, of check fraud, after me trying to tell her, lady, I don't have a checkbook. I don't know those people. You know, I can tell you where I spent the money. And, you know, I know the stores, I know the websites. So... <sighs> It's it's ridiculous. It's hell. And 
This lady was not believe me. She still doesn't believe me. And she said something, you know, the effect of, "Oh, you're. I think you're. You're letting. You, you're lying. You're telling something. You're not telling something. You're not telling us something. You know. You know. You, you know this that. I'm like, Miss. I'm just as confused with this as you are and stunned. I mean, it's a stupid mistake about giving someone my private info. Dumbest mistake. I didn't. I don't have checks. So if I can't write checks, how can I write checks? Or Coinbase. Who at this time I've been. First I was fighting, then I'm like, okay, I finally got one of the accounts cancelled, done. I'm like, okay, you know, it's just one. Nope, there's two. Some bow on top of hacking my information made a Coinbase account in my name. And no matter what I try to do to even do the whole, um... To identity factor, you know, and the only I picture ID I have is is grossly expired. But you know, the only difference is the address, the city, and the, I wasn't wearing my glasses. Only difference, and nope, 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 nope. I'm like. Yourself. <clears throat> so I'm like, okay, you know, I'm and I'm mad and I'm freaking out. You know, I got this one lady telling me that there's fraud in my name. I'm doing this and that, and I'm not. So me and my aunt go to the branch instead of going somewhere else, and you know, we're you know, thank God, my aunt slash godmother has been. Has worked in the court system since oof, I can remember, so she she knows a lot. Obviously, you work in the courts, you know a lot. Anyway, we go to credit union. She asks, "Can we speak to a manager about this and that?" And the lady's like, "Okay, yeah, I'll be right with you." So she takes us in a business business in an office in the back, explains. Hi, my name is dot dot dot. I'm a floating manager, you know, I don't usually work here, you know, that type of thing. So favorite um So it was just, and she went online and she you know checked my account and all that and she she saw it right away, she's like, Yep. This is fraud. I see fraud. She, my aunt's like, well, can we have copies of this, you know, made? Or, she, and the lady's like, oh, sure, no problem. So she goes and she gets us copies. And my aunt's, you know, we're talking to her. And my aunt's like, what do we do now? And the lady's like, okay, on behalf of you, we'll close this account. Set up a new one and we'll do a, I want to say an a, ACH trace back or something like that. So what you need is a so, home for healing. And I promise you, dull and boring. And then, you know, for our records, go to the police department and get a police report generated. So we do that. Guy is awesome, by the way. And, you know, no judgment. So, you know, I get a... Report number, or file number, or case number, or whatever. Any rated. So I call the bank back either after that or the next day, something like that. And I'm trying to tell this person hey, on the phone who called me, and and accused me of, you know, doing bank fraud and all that. I'm like, again, miss, my story has not changed. I know where I spent the money. I'm not. I'm not money launderer. The only money I launder is if it's in the pockets of a pair of pants, jacket, shirt. You know that type of thing. That's the only time. I don't check the, and I don't check the pockets or anything. It's either, well, 
change falls out or dollars fall out in the washer and I don't see it till I finish taking the load of clothes out or in the washer or in the dryer. That's the only time. And this lady is just not believing me. I'm pleading my innocence. Yes, my story is broken, but I'm also trying to tell her I have trouble trying to convey my words, especially when I'm in anxiety, panic attack, you know, I'm frantic, I'm frazzled, I'm trying to put into words what I want to say, this lady was not having it, so she says, oh, yeah, this is fraud, you're telling us, you're not telling us something, you know something more than you're letting us know, and we're going to freeze your account, and we're gonna close it, send you a cashier's check for the remainder or whatever's left, and you'll never be able to do business with us ever again. So, and I even gave her the report number for the police report. I'm trying to trying to Prove my innocence, and I'm getting blamed for a, one of the stupidest mistakes I've ever made. But still, it it's ridiculous. It's, why why am I getting blamed? Yes, but I I was trying to tell her I don't have checks. I told her that how many times, and the you know the manager even said yeah. This is that, I'm like that's not my signature, and she had me. She had it right. She had uh had me sign a paper with my whole me um my name scribbled and you know the whole thing. And like I said, you know, we try to keep I try to keep them up to date on what's going on, and then. Over the last couple of days, I haven't been You're able to use to my new account. Really so I'm like, okay, what's wrong? And then I forget my password, so I have to reset it. And it's a whole show. So anyway, I, there's no way I can get in my account anymore. What in the world is going on? So I, yesterday I called because I, I had to take a couple of days off from me and talking to someone that didn't believe me. Um, so I called, and I don't know where the place was, it's probably don't say it, um, and I asked them what was going on, here's my info, and she's typing, she's typing, she's typing, or he's typing, I don't know, typing, typing, you know, looking, looking, oh, nope, I don't see anything, I don't see an account with anything like that, nope, goodbye, click. So I'm like, okay, I'll just try to call my branch. And yeah. So, long story short, they closed my account. They froze it, they closed it, and sent me a check. All because of something I didn't do. And I'm trying to prove my innocence. So, I can't pay my bills because I don't have money. I can't buy food because I don't have money. You know. No, oh, it's ridiculous. I gotta go there tomorrow with my aunt. I'm not expecting miracles. I'm just trying to clear my name. Free and easy. And I'm sorry this video was just like me right and random and tangent, but I'm frustrated and I just, I don't know what to do anymore. Anyway, I'm gonna get off here. Hopefully tomorrow I can unravel some more and I'll try to come back and let you know. Thanks for hanging out with me in the spirit of a grumpy pugma over here, and hopefully I'll see you next time in not such a long video. Bye.